Veteran troopers call this the worst that they've ever seen in all their years on the job. Dozens remain hospitalized. And police here at the barracks in Jonestown are asking other survivors to call them to make arrangements to retrieve their belongings from vehicles that remain impounded at tow company lots. I'm responsible for cataloging all the vehicles that are at the scene. That's 64 vehicles in all, a dozen tractor trailers. The vehicles were towed to yards like this one, some so mangled they're beyond recognition. Troopers who spent all day at the crash site Saturday are now trying to piece together what happened. Multiple reports claim that it was weather related, uh, whiteout conditions, uh, very reduced visibility, a lot of high winds and a lot of drifting snow across the roadways. Hundreds of first responders braved the cold and wind to try to save lives. There's not too much that you can do to prepare for an accident of that magnitude in the, with the weather. And police say that this investigation could take weeks. They've got to interview all those involved in that horrific crash. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll look at the emotional toll it's taking on the first responders who answered the call on Saturday. Live here at the State Police Barracks in Lebanon County, Barbara Barr, News 8.